Migraine is a common and debilitating headache disorder. It occurs in 33% of females and 14% of males in their lifetime. It is more common in those with a family history of it. It is, however, more than just a headache. It is considered one of the top leading cause of disability in the world for people between the ages of 10 and 50. The effects of migraine can also be significant on someone's personal, social and professional life, as well as their education. And that's why it is important that we recognise it and treat it. People with migraine will describe a moderate to severe headache lasting 4 to 72 hours, sometimes associated with nausea, vomiting, sensitivity towards light, sound, smell and movement. You may experience any combination of these symptoms during a migraine attack. You may also have other symptoms including neck stiffness, mood and sleep changes and brain fog affecting your concentration and attention. Even once the pain is gone, some people still tend to experience these symptoms and feel drained and exhausted for a few days afterwards. There are several options available in the management of migraine, including self-management strategies, acute, preventative and transitional treatments, each of which can be discussed with your treating clinicians. Some painkillers are considered as an acute treatment for migraine, which you can take during a migraine attack, but won't prevent another attack from coming back. When used, they should be limited to 10 days or less a month. Preventatives are used to treat the underlying cause. It is important to understand this is not a cure, but the aim is to help control the symptoms and the severity or frequency of headaches. Therefore, appropriate and early treatment for the management of migraines will have a significant impact on patients' quality of life. Transitional treatment, otherwise known as bridging treatments, such as peripheral nerve blocks, are used for acute headache presentations, where timely management is essential. Painkillers can be very useful as an acute management of migraines. There are several types available, those which you can get over the counter and those prescribed by the clinician looking after you. Although it's very tempting to take painkillers every day, it is important that painkillers are limited. You will see various numbers of days you are allowed to use different types of painkillers. However, to simplify this, we suggest limiting use to 10 days a month. The reason why we suggest this number is to avoid the potential of winding up your headaches as well as reducing the effectiveness of any treatment we start you on. In some patients, they can develop what is called a medication overuse headache. This is when the headaches increase in frequency alongside the increase in painkiller use. Once the painkillers are stopped or reduced, the headaches often improve. Completing a daily headache diary is very important. We would suggest noting down the severity and duration of headaches and any painkiller use. With regards to severity, it is important that you only put zero down in days that your head is crystal clear. This diary will help you and your clinician track how frequently your headaches are occurring, the response to treatment started, and also will help you monitor your painkiller use. If you find that you are having to reach for your painkillers on more than 10 days a month, then discussing this with your clinician would be important. <music>